Yesterday, I went to a museum where I saw a huge collection of a mammoth and a dinosaur. I wonder how huge dinosaur existed on the earth. On the earth? How is that possible? Yes, it is. These creatures have evolved and scientists have tools for tracing how this evolution occurred. Welcome to the lesson on evolution 2. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to define homologous characteristics, define analogous characteristics, trace the evolutionary relationship, learn tools for tracing evolutionary relationship. Frog, lizard, bird and human, they have four limbs. Thus, a characteristic that is similar in all of them. This is called homologous characteristics. Characteristics are details of appearance or behavior or a particular form or function. One typical example is photosynthesis, which is a characteristic in plants. This is homologous characteristic of plants. Now, let us understand analogous characteristics. Squirrel and lizard, though they have four limbs, they are not similar. Bats and birds have wings to fly but they differ in their structure and components. Birds have feathery wings and bats have skin folds in the wings. They serve similar functions but have different structures. Hence, they show analogous characteristics. Homologous and analogous characteristics help us to trace evolutionary relationships. Some 100 million years ago, Marine organisms like fishes died and got buried in the sand. More sand accumulated and sandstone formed under pressure. Millions of years later, dinosaurs living in the area died and their bodies were buried in mud. This mud is compressed into rock above the rock containing the earlier fossils. Again, millions of years later, Horse-like creatures died and got buried and became fossils. When we dig into the earth, we find fossils in the different layers. It is important to know how old the fossils are. How do we know that? The tools for tracing evolutionary relationship are excavating the fossils. Carbon dating fossils by detecting the ratios of different isotopes of the same element in the fossil material and by determining DNA sequences.